Hello my soccer universe. Well, uh, this week you get a commented uh, stats cast because I thought there are only three things really to show, which are the favorites and the chances of advancing, which you see in the graph itself. So I thought it's maybe best to comment a little bit still with the Europa League background, but I decided, I have been uh, actually a bit down on Manchester City. I, I decided, nah, let's wear best team in Europe. Let's give them some credit and yeah, give this beautiful shirt or arguably another outing, uh, which uh, when we see now, let's start, right? When we see here the current favorites for the Champions League, it is of course Manchester City, whose chances of winning it, thanks to this rather decisive win in Portugal, they already qualified. We knew, knew that their chances increased therefore by 77% because there's no jeopardy anymore and they're still the top favorite, as are Liverpool. Now in second place, rather closely behind because there's also 97% chance of advancing now. Yeah, duh, uh, I'm, I'm not telling you something new there. Um, Bayern uh, surprisingly more or less stayed the same. Uh, they had a 74% chance of advancing. That draw gave them a 75% chance. So uh, there's really not much has changed for Bayern. They just need to do their job. Um, and then PSG is probably the big rise, but they, they stay level as you can, 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 can see it's more that Real Madrid lost. Uh, their chances of advancing are now at 68% where before it was, they were slightly light and fairers even at 52%. So I uh, find this rather interesting. Real Madrid of course to, uh, dropping out uh, with only 32% chance of advancing. So um, that's it for the Champions League uh, that I want, I want to say. We has, of course have another set of fixtures coming up then it will be a little bit more interesting. Uh, but you are, or, or you see that Chelsea, of course, are favorites over Lille, uh, United, slim favorites over Atleti. Um, but you know, that was um, uh, ahead before we knew that Atleti lost. Uh, and Juventus also, all the slim favorites over Villarreal. So, uh, rather interesting stuff happening there. Ajax, uh, big favorites over uh, Benfica. Moving on to the Europa League, much more has changed there. Uh, before we had the favorites of uh, West Ham, Ham, Ham because they are already in the uh, round, the round of 16. Now with Sevilla having uh, rather decisively won their first uh, round matchup, they have a 93% chance of advancing and suddenly they are the favorite to advance. And also the um, uh, Leverkusen and West Ham have uh, switched kind of uh, roles because Leverkusen still remains the second best and for all the, all the way to third. This is due to the rating shift since the um, we had the last time uh, we talked about which, which, which was in uh, after, after the draw in December. Um, you can also see that Porto and Atalanta despite having only slim leads still uh, rather comfortable i mean over 77 percent of ad advancing betis is also rather through so uh very interesting i mean of course we need to look at napoli against barcelona ahead of the tie or whether draw was made i had barcelona as a 56 percent favorite at the moment it's napoli 60 percent so roles uh flipped a little bit thanks to home field advantage also interesting although i don't want to put too much into it uh because I don't trust Real Sociedad, but at the moment, given that there's a uh, and with home field advantage, they would have a 58% chance of advancing. So I find that interesting. Rangers make an appearance now that they didn't have previously. So also uh, interesting stuff there. Dortmund, 8% chance of advancing is not very high. And then, uh, so that's it for the Conference League. I think Sevilla is a favorite also um, with home field advantage in the final. So that also has to be said. Uh, I gave her a uh, bet this uh, a half a home field because you know it's yes, it's in their own city, but it's not their own stadium <laughs> in a way. But yeah, uh, moving on to the conference league. Um, also, more or less, uh, Leicester now more or less through, so suddenly they become the favorites because they are a higher rated team than Roma. But what I like with the Conference League is uh, that it is also a very even competition. Uh, at the moment, Leicester, Roma, Feyenoord, Rennes, more or less the favorites, and we have PSV in there. But you know, you have Marseille uh, that could get in, in, in there that have a very good rating. So I think it is a rather interesting com 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 competition, but uh, Leicester should be considered the favorite uh, there. On a personal note, Nask dropped from 12th uh, to 14th. 
Uh, still, other than that, not much has changed. Their chances of advancing were 40% now. Uh, they are 39%, so not much has changed. It's just that certain teams like uh, Leicester, who have been uh, in front from, from, from them, but you know, Bode and, and so on, they just moved up. They have a higher rate, rate, rate at the moment because uh, Lask is rather horrible in the league. Uh, then we have uh, Rapid Vienna suddenly makes an appearance there, 63% over Vitesse, so that's uh, in, 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 interesting. And since I also like Pauk, uh, 32% there, yeah. Gotta see how all moves around. So that was my um, talk with it, StatsCast. Uh, for uh, this week's European, European fixture, I think I might do that now for the other fixtures as well. Um, in any case, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!